Welcome back once again. In this part, we will connect our fragment. So, for doing this, first add private bottom navigation view, and we can select bottom navigation view, and we can select navigation view, and add private. Frame layout is going to be frame layout. And add this navigation view is equal to find view by id r dot id dot bottom navigation view. And frame layout is equal to find view by id r dot id dot main frame. Now we need to add some color resources. We can call it color dashboard. So dashboard color and for dashboard we need to choose different color. And choose this color. And create another color field. And this color field is for income color. And this one is going to like this. And to this one. And another color field for expense color. And copy this color and paste it here. I think we need to change our bottom navigation view name. We can choose this bottom navigation view, and instead of navigation view, we need to add bottom navigation view because we we added navigation view for our navigation view. So now bottom navigation view dot set on click listener set on navigation item selected listener new bottom navigation listener and in here we need to add our swiss case so swiss item dot get item id r dot id dot so first we need to add case r dot id dot dashboard and return true and before that we need to uh, we need to add bottom navigation view dot set item background resource r dot color dot and name of our color and return true so what we did here we just create a object of bottom navigation view and connect with id and add set on navigation item select listener and inside the listener we are using this swiss case so another case for our income and same process at another item background for our income and return true and for case r dot id dot expense we need to add another background color and we can call it bottom navigation view dot set item background resource is going to be r dot color dot expense color and return true and by default and for default we need to add return false so we can select default and return false Okay. Now we need to create our fragment. So select blank fragment and uncheck these two line of file and add dashboard fragment and finish. And add another fragment. And select a fragment blank. And uncheck this one and this one and name it. 
and do we can call income fragment and finish and now we need to create one more fragment for our expense fragment so uncheck this tool and in here we can call it expense fragment and hit this finish button and in here we need to add we need to create object of our fragment so private dashboard fragment is going to be dashboard fragment private income fragment is going to be income fragment private expense fragment is going to be expense fragment and now at display fragment is dashboard fragment is equal to new dashboard fragment income fragment is equal to new income fragment and expense fragment is equal to new expense fragment and in here we need to add set fragment and now we need to create a method and pass data as a parameter and create a method and call it set fragment so now we created a method as a set fragment we, we name it set fragment and change the dashboard fragment to fragment and change this dashboard fragment and add fragment just create a method Now in here we need to add our fragment transaction. So fragment transaction and fragment transaction is equal to get support fragment manager dot begin transaction And now we need to replace r dot id dot main frame. That is our frame layout ID and second parameter as fragment. And add fragment transaction and commit. And now we need to add this method and change this one for income fragment and call our set fragment method and and pass it here expense fragment and by default when we want to when we will run we would like to show our dashboard fragment so set fragment is going to be our dashboard fragment so now if we run this run our application we can see our all this fragment and if we click this icon, icon item then we can see our, our navigation to our background is changing so expense and if we click income and we can see different color and if we click dashboard and we can see different color so we successfully designed our bottom navigation view and we added our fragment but if we click this fragment item it will not be changed because we did not add this functionality inside our navigation drawer selected item so now we need to solve this issue so now open this dashboard fragment open this in this part first i think we need to change some text color to make sure that that our fragment is changing so change this text color and we can call it dashboard fragment 
and for this one you can call it fragment expense so expense fragment and we can call it income fragment and in here we can call it fragment is equal to new dashboard fragment and for income fragment is going to be fragment is equal to new income fragment and we are doing this for our navigation drawer fragment when we will click our navigation drawer icon we will open this dashboard and income and expense fragment that we created a method and we added just object now run this project and now we can see now we can see our dashboard fragment when we run our application and if we click our income then we can see our income fragment and if we click expense then we can see our expense fragment now we need to open our navigation drawer so open this navigation drawer and now click this income now we can see our income that means our navigation drawer fragment is working so in this part we complete all this functionality for our fragment for our navigation drawer and for our bottom navigation bar so we successfully complete this navigation drawer fragment and bottom navigation fragment 